get ready for the dictation 10 seconds 5 seconds start mr deputy speaker sir at the outset i thank you very much for having given me this opportunity of taking part in this discussion i am particularly thankful to the honorable chief minister also because after my election to this august house this is my first speech i express my sincere thanks to the voters of the constituency from which i have been elected i am grateful to the leaders of alliance parties also for their campaign in my favor first of all i would like to take up the matter of rising prices i am sure that our government will be in a position to tackle this difficult problem effectively within a few months my contention is that the problem of rise in prices can never be treated in isolation those of us who have a stake in planned economic development would always feel that this has to be treated in an integrated manner together with a number of problems which are also important i would like to bring to the notice of the government one other important point if we treat agriculture as an industry a number of benefits that are made available to industry now for its development will become available to agriculture also then i would like to say a word about technology it is a well known fact that we rely more on manual labor for our agriculture so there is no improvement beyond a particular stage i request the government to take steps to introduce more modern methods to increase the yield per acre then i would like to touch upon the effort taken by the government to improve the standard of education it is an accepted fact that the allotment being made in the budgets of every year is on the rise the government are also monitoring the various wings of education department to cope with the changing trends i request the government to give priority to the important needs of the school going children the government should see that all students get their textbooks in time there is a general complaint that new books are not made available in time to meet the actual demand when the schools reopen after vacation the teaching community should be alive to the changing situations and impart education to the students they should not lag behind when compared to other states in this connection i am confident that the government will also look after the welfare of the teaching community we have to bear in mind one other important matter and that is about the public distribution system the government are taking steps to supply food articles at subsidized rates to the people below the poverty line though the subsidy element is more the intention of the government is to serve the poor and needy in the larger interests of the state then i wish to point out that more industrial units should be set up in the backward areas in order to provide employment to the educated young men and women i hope and trust that banks will offer loans at low rate of interest to those who wish to start industries in the rural areas i also want the government to bestow more attention on the laying of roads to connect each and every village i learn that the government at the center are allotting funds for that purpose 
we should make use of those funds and do the needful. I am sure that the people of this state will be benefited by the various schemes of our government. Thank you. Letter dated 10th November 2003 from Ram and Sons Madurai to Mrs. John Brothers Chennai. Dear Sirs, we are in receipt of your letter of the third instant wherein you have stated that you have already settled our dues by means of a demand draft for 5000 rupees. In this connection, we would like to draw your kind attention to our reminder last week. We are very sorry to state that we have not received any letter enclosing your demand draft in settlement of our dues. It is now for you to take necessary steps to find out the cause for the loss of the draft. We fear that it would have been lost in transit. We would suggest that you may make a complaint to the concerned postal authorities for the purpose of tracing the missing article. If it is not worthwhile, you may approach your bankers for issue of a fresh draft in place of the last one. You will have to satisfy them that the draft has been really lost. Perhaps this will take some time and therefore we would prefer to get your payment early and without much delay. If you obtain a fresh draft and send the same to us, we will be much obliged to you. You can get refund of the amount covered by the earlier draft which has been lost in due course of time. Yours faithfully.